histology, the study of tissue. A tissue is a group of cells that have the same function doing the same thing. There are four major types of tissue in your body. You have epithelial, muscle, connective, nervous. We will go over each one of these individually, and there are several types of each of these tissues. The matrix, the matrix is the non-living portion of this tissue. Some of these tissues, such as connective, have much more matrix than others. Epithelial does not have very much matrix. Epithelial is a tissue that lines organs, lines cavities, and it always has a side facing an open space. It lacks blood vessels, and it divides rapidly. When we take a look at epithelial, one thing that we always want to do is find the open space and then find what we call the basement membrane. The open space here in this picture is here. Our basement membrane is the membrane between the epithelial tissue and the tissue below. Here is our basement membrane. It is the distinct line, in most cases, between the epithelial and the tissue below. If you can find the open space and the basement membrane, it'll be easier to tell what type of tissue you are looking at. There are nine types of epithelial that we're going to take a look at. We have simple and stratified tissues. Simple means one layer. First, if we look at simple squamous, simple meaning one layer, Squamous means flat, so we have a single layer of flat cells. These are most commonly found in capillaries, walls of blood vessels, and then the alveoli, which is the air sacs within the lung. We have two different pictures here. One here at the bottom is as if you're looking at the tube from the outside, so you're looking at the rim of the tube. The other picture, the main picture here, as this, if you're looking inside the tube, looking at the wall of the tube. So the large picture is looking at it from the flat on the inside. The picture down below is looking as if you are looking at the edge of the tube. So with the simple squamous, the simple squamous tend to have large nuclei. So the brown spots are the nuclei. Here, the arrow is pointing to the simple squamous. In the other picture, we actually did not have an open space because we were looking at the wall. The open space is here. This is just debris within the middle. The basement membrane is essentially here. So these are very flat cells. It's that little bump in between. The darkened areas is the nucleus within each one of these cells. This is simple squamous. Our next is simple cuboidal. We have simple, we are one layer, and cuboidal describes the shape, so we're cube-shaped cells. These are found in the surface of the ovaries, the lining of nephrons, nephrons are within the kidney, and in the walls of the renal tubules, so these are the tubes leading from the kidney. Let's look for our open space and look for our basement membrane. Here is our open space. And on this picture, the basement membrane is pretty obvious because it is a nice dark line. Here is our basement membrane. We have several examples of simple cuboidal within this picture because this is also simple cuboidal, as well as this and as well as this, that being the open space. If we take a look here, we have one layer of cell and they are cube shape cells. The red dot is the nucleus. These tend to have nice big nucleus taking up quite a bit of that cell. This is simple cuboidal, one layer of cube shape cells. And then we have simple columnar, simple meaning one, one layer, and columnar meaning column shape. Again, let's look for our open space and our basement membrane. Here's our open space. And here is our basement membrane. If we look here, we have one layer of column shaped cells. Again, we have our basement membrane. Our open space is the same, and these are the column shaped cells here. And then again, we have our open space, 
our basement membrane and some more column shaped cells. Simple columnar is found in the uterus as well as the digestive tract. Oftentimes in simple columnar, we find what's called goblet cells. Goblet cells secrete mucus. There are two types of spellings of mucus because there are two different words. This mucus here is the actual kind of slimy stuff that you would know as mucus. If you have M-U-C-O-U-S, this word is the adjective describing the type of membrane that actually secretes the mucus. But goblet cells are these cells here that look like little goblets, and they hold mucus and secrete mucus. Then we have pseudostratified. Pseudo means pretend, and stratified means many layers. So this is a single layer of cells, but it appears to be several. When we look at pseudostratified, let's find our open space. Here's our open space. Let's find our basement. So here's the basement membrane line down here. And then let's look at what we find in between. Here, because there's nuclei at different levels, it seems to be more than one layer. But the nuclei are actually staggered. So this is one cell coming down here. Here is another single cell. Pseudostratified tends to have cilia. Cilia is the little hairs on the outside of the cell here. There are other types of epithelial cells to have cilia, but pseudostratified tends to have cilia more often than not. Pseudostratified is found within the respiratory system, and the cilia kind of beat back and forth to help collect uh, debris and bacteria before it gets down into the lungs, and then it also pushes that mucus up from the trachea, and then it allows you to swallow that mucus that has collected some of the gross stuff before it gets into your lungs. Now we are on to our stratified. Our stratified tissues are multiple layers. Stratified means multiple layers. We have stratified squamous. Squamous means flat. So we have many layers of flat cells. Let's take a look at this picture here. Again, find your open space and then find your basement membrane. Here, the basement membrane is this area between the dark and the light, and it is undulating, meaning it kind of goes back and forth quite a bit. And we have, you can see we have several layers of cells between this basement membrane and the open space. Stratified squamous is found in the epidermis, which is the outermost layer of your skin, which is this picture here, and it also lines the mouth, the throat, the vagina, and the anal canal. These two types of cells are different in the fact that your skin or your epidermis has keratin. Keratin is a hard protein that fills up the cells to make them a little bit more waterproof. See this top layer um, of these cells, there's kind of a dividing line. Those top layer of cells have keratin, where the ones that are lining your mouth, your throat, your vagina, and your anal canal do not have that keratin, so they don't have that waterproof protection and they don't necessarily need it. Then we have stratified cuboidal. We have cube-shaped cells in many layers. If we take a look, let's find our open space and let's find our basement membrane. The basement membrane would be here. Open space would be here. Again, open space, basement membrane. And you can see we have two layers of these cube-shaped cells. Stratified cuboidal is found in sweat and salivary glands, as well as the pancreas. Our next shape is stratified columnar. This is a column-shaped cell that is multi-layered. With the stratified columnar, again, look for the open space in the basement membrane. Here's our open space, and here is the basement membrane. With the stratified columnar, the bottom layer of cells tends to be more a cube shape and the top ones are going to be more of the column shape. This is found in the urethra which purveys urine out of the body, the vas deferens which is used for purveying sperm, and the pharynx which is part of the um, respiratory system which connects the nose, the mouth, and the throat. We have transitional. Transitional 
responds to tension. It can stretch out. So as it gets stretched, those cells kind of spread out and flatten and maintain their integrity, meaning that they're not going to um, allow anything to come through. These are found in the bladder. It has many layers of cells. So let's take a look at our basement membrane and our open space. This is transitional. To me, transitional looks like orange bowl. Here is our open space. And here is our basement membrane. And here is the, what I think is the orange pulp look. This is transitional. It is found in the bladder. Glandular is found in glands. Here is the basement membrane. Here is the open space. And then this is the glandular in between. We have two main types of glands. We have exocrine and endocrine. Exocrine glands are those that secrete into a duct. We have three types of exocrine glands. The first type is merocrine. A merocrine gland is the most common type of gland in the body. Most of your sweat glands are merocrine. Here, the cell stays completely intact when it secretes. The second kind is apocrine. Apocrine glands are those that loses part of the cell when it secretes. Most of your glands that produce body odor are of the are apocrine glands. The last type is holocrine. Holocrine glands, the entire cell lyses or breaks open during secretion. Endocrine glands secrete directly on a tissue or blood. So most hormones are going to be from an endocrine gland. 